all the snow. It looks so pretty. I love it. Good morning. Uh, la, 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 la. It is Friday, January 7th. Almost said December 7th. But it is 9.30. I've been up since 5.15. I've been trying to go to bed early and take my melatonin and stuff like that to help me go to sleep so I can wake up early and be productive. I actually had a really productive day yesterday. So, once you realize how much stuff you can get done when you wake up early, it's like, you just want that. So, anyway. So, I just had a slow morning and had my coffee. We had, like, a snowstorm. If you would even call it a storm. Probably not. Um, yesterday, and none of it melted or anything. And I love... I just love the snow. It's so pretty. And I just drank my coffee and read my devotional and stuff like that. So now we're about to do some skincare. This is, my aunt got me this for Christmas. It is a, um, one of the facial steamers. So this is the AIRA brand. Vanity Planet. This is actually at Sam's Club. I will see if I can link it for you guys, but I'm going to use it this morning. I haven't even opened it. She actually texted me last night and asked if I, how I liked it. I was like, I haven't even taken it out of the box and I feel bad, but I like whenever you're boiling hot water on the stove and the water, ah, oh, that just feels so good. So, it says, relax and unwind while detoxifying your skin of impurities and dead skin cells. Perfect for all skin types. And you can add your favorite essential oil and treat yourself with a trip to your very own sauna. Hydrates and softens skin. Makes your skin more receptive to skincare treatments. Clarifies skin's complexion. Use with essential oils for a therapeutic experience. And I guess this actually, yeah, includes three essential oil baskets. So that's what we're fixing to do. And I'll see if I can link this for you guys. Uh, if you want to try it, what else was I going to say? Oh, I just have some cleaning, a little bit of cleaning to do. And I've been going around like a little at a time and spray painting my outlet covers gold and I'm just obsessed. It's so hard to find the perfect gold color. And I really think it all just depends on what color you're like, what color scheme you're trying to incorporate it with. Because like in my office, the white, and it's like not white white, it's almost kind of a, I wouldn't even say creamy, it's just not stark white. But, um, a flat brassy gold is what looks good in here but it's like what i prefer in here but in uh the rest of my house we have like an agree the agreeable gray which is like oh kind of warm gray so like the shiny gold which is what i never thought i would like is what i like with that color so i'll share with you guys when i go spray some spray paint some more but Jared worked last night, so he's asleep. So I doubt we're doing anything because it's supposed to be in the 20s today. So I don't think the roads are going to get much better, which, I mean, people are driving and stuff you can see. But, I mean, we don't have to go anywhere, so probably not going to get out. So I'm going to do this skincare and then, yeah. Okay, so here it is out of the box. It's so pretty. It has sections at the bottom, which is nice. And the water goes in back here. 
So, here we go. I hit the power button. Um, it's supposed to heat up for 30 to 60 seconds. And I did try it out before I... Okay. Yeah, so, okay. Because I had my fan on and it was blowing that way. Oh my goodness, yes. Highly recommend. And I filled it up to the men line. And apparently that's supposed to do me trying to... That does it for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do this and then do some uh, chores. light switch cover and I'm fixing to spray paint and this is what I'm using the Rust-Oleum Bright Coat Metallic Finish Rich Shiny Finish Fast Drying and it is very fast drying I was using this then I have another one over there I, I didn't like so we're gonna give not give this a go I know it's gonna be good but let me see if I can don't even mind my messy garage I've been doing two coats too but like And I'm making sure that I clean these before I spray paint them because I wasn't doing that. And this is definitely clinging to the dirty spots. So let that dry. Okay, so I'm actually finished with the outlet covers and I just wanted to show you guys how they turned out. I absolutely love it. I think they look so good. I just love the gold with the, oh, I need to redo that door. The black or the gold looks with the black. I just think it's so pretty. So um, the next thing I wanna do is spray paint this curtain rod because I really don't wanna spend $35 on a new one. <laughs> I'm getting kind of cheap in my old age. But yeah, that's how they turned out, Axel. So that is gonna be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Say bye.